you know, we've been going for about, uh, I, I don't know, t two weeks now, and uh, we're in the game week. It's, uh, uh, I'm energized by this group. There's a lot of new players. I think the Badger fans that were coming here in the field house on Friday, there was, uh, they probably needed to refer to their, uh, to their roster a little bit more than what they've had in the past. But, you know, it's, uh, the, the group that we've got has is, is energized me with their, with their work ethic and their willingness to learn. Um, you know, their, uh, their talent, um, their enthusiasm for, for being in there. There's a lot of learning that's taking place right now, but it's, but it's uh, for the most part, the energy has been, been fantastic. So we're, we're excited to get going uh, here in four days, uh, kind of um, trying to sharpen things up a little bit, trying to figure out, still trying to figure out what our lineup's going to be. And that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, uh, the, there's good problems and bad problems, you know, but we've got, uh, you know, because of our health, but because of uh, the number of players that have, that have come in here, uh, I, I think there's, there's a lot of players that, even though we're young, I don't see many players that are just settling in and just uh, being in the back. And, and uh, I see a lot of them that are pushing forward, that are, that are wanting to be out in the court, that are wanting to be in the rotation, and uh, we're still trying to figure that out. Yep, Mike's on either side. Dennis? How much you've looked back over the scrimmage mm -hmm. from the other night, but were there individual things that you come away with that maybe we didn't talk about right after the match? <clears throat> you know, down the locker room afterwards, we talked about that. You know, I thought it was uh, everybody took had some things where they can take away from it and feel pretty good. And, and I think everybody also had some learning moments where – uh, you know we got to continue to get better. So we had, you know, we had a film session the, the next day. Um, I don't know if anybody particularly stood out. Um, you know, I think some of the people that had uh, had probably a little bit more errors than what they wanted. The thing that I liked is that uh, the very next time the opportunity came their way, whether it was the next serve or the next set or or, um, or whatever, um, that they were that. Uh, they went from an error to making a um, a positive play, and I think a lot of times with young with young teams with young players, you can kind of get into that, you know, free fall a little bit where one error leads to another leads to another, and that just hasn't been the case with what I've seen. They've they've been they've been very mentally tough and being able to to get past an error and, and move forward. Um, I don't know. It's uh, you know, you, you, I thought our outsides did a really nice job. You know, uh, I've been really impressed with Kelly Bates uh, throughout the course of preseason. I mean, you know, she, you know, I think the first three years she's been on this. You know, at times she, the highs are high and the lows are low, and uh, every practice she's she's been very very stable and consistent and been a rock, and that's something we've needed out of her. Uh, I thought she had a really good scrimmage. Uh, I thought Emmy Dodge, I think everybody could see that defensively she's a lot stronger than what she was a year ago. You get that knee brace, and that's kind of freed her up to be, you know, def defend with a little bit more range. Uh, you know, our other freshmen outsides, Grace Loberg and Mariah Whalen, I thought both of those guys had some really nice moments. You know, Grace, high contact point, hitting with a lot of range. Um, you know, Mariah, I thought, was really good out of system. I mean, she got up there on, on one ball, Early on, uh, high ball out of system that I think uh, Amber put up for and just crushed it uh, four to four inside the ten foot line. I think right at right at Loberg, she she had uh, I was coming right at her face. I thought Loberg high contact. I thought she did a really good job. Danielle Hurd, I thought had a really nice scrimmage. Uh, probably some of the hits of the night kind of probably uh, belonged to Danielle. So I think a lot of different. Uh, Sarah Dodd passed to two point six. Uh, I thought she was very, very good uh, in the back row for us. So I, I think it was spread out uh, amongst a lot of people. Right. Yeah, what are you expecting from your freshmen this year, particularly uh, Sydney Hilly? Well, we're expecting quite a few of the freshmen to play. Uh, they're going to need to. You know, I, I think, uh, number one, uh, we've got a lot of players that are talented enough to play early on. Uh, a lot of them that have had a lot of experience, you know, whether it's been here graduating and being here in the spring. Um, you know, or people throughout, uh, you know, playing high-level club. Uh, but, you know, there's uh, – I've been <clears> – <throat> I've been impressed with, impressed with the freshman class. Uh, and, 
we've not had to slow down a, a lot for them. There's certainly a lot more teaching that is going on in the gym, you know, with what with how practices are structured and, and the techniques and how we communicate. Um, you know, but when it's time to get into a drill, the freshmen a lot of times are leading the way or the first ones in the in the gym in the in the morning uh, are younger players. And uh, that's been the case from day one. And I haven't seen that slow up. Matter of fact, I think uh, you know, I got in here the afternoon yesterday, spent the morning with with my family, got in here about three o'clock. And yesterday was the day off and Hilly's in there by herself and drenched in sweat already. And um you know, just just setting a lot of balls, and apparently that was our second workout of the day on a day off. So, you know, it's uh, you know, I I like the future of this team, but what I really like is that the freshmen are they're ready to compete now, and uh, I know they're excited about Friday. Coach, I know you guys got some physical structural upgrades to the field house over the summer. Um, I mean, having that video board, having kind of a cool new upgrade. I mean, it has to make you feel good knowing that this program is being invested in financially. Well, the, uh, it's, yeah, we're, we're very appreciative uh, of that. And, uh, you know, I think every year there's been some, um, you know, some changes to help bring to life one of the best, best buildings and not only on this campus, but in this city. I mean, it's an amazing place. It's going to be around for a long time and it, it was uh, it was getting kind of creaky there for a little bit, and I, I think bringing some life back into it has been fantastic. I know getting partial air conditioning, we still need to uh, do a little bit more work, but it's it's helped tremendously in how we've trained, and that has been very important. Um, you know, the video board I think is going to be really cool for the fans. We obviously don't use it much during practice or anything else, but we're excited to, you know, to we got a loyal fan base that. Um, you know, to to increase the atmosphere, we're excited about about that. Um, it's uh, the sound system, you know, I think is is going to be good as well. But for our team, for our players, the biggest thing for them has been getting a little bit of AC in there and trying to drop the humidity down. It's really made a difference with how we're practicing. You know, first weekend, you don't have any video to study the your opponents but you've played them in recent years past years what do you know about them and how important is it to gather what you can about them yeah it's um <clears throat> us in minnesota will both take turns playing louisville and uh in north carolina uh, louisville whole new coaching staff in there and um uh you know a staff that uh, i think is very talented uh, that will that will have their team playing hard, and um, you know, but a lot of new players. They've got some players that are transferring in. You know, they got a a, a setter transfer from Penn State who who's been in some matches that we've seen in the past, and is you know a lefty setter with really nice top spin, uh, a little bit of side spin serve on that, and. Uh, um, you know they're moving some of their pieces around. One of the best liberos in the country plays for them. Uh, you know, really nice slide attacker. They're gritty. They're tough. They're you know, and um, I'm sure their coach will have them playing that way. So it's a it's a perfect program to be coming out of the, the gate. You know, of of you know we we feel like we're hoping that that our team is it plays with some grit and some toughness and 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 some skill and. You know, we'll be playing against somebody that's, you know, on the other side of the net that is, um, you know, the, plays that way as well. The following night against North Carolina, uh, you know, a team that's, you know, I think they're one of the top five teams in the country, you know, that returns an awful lot of talent from a year ago. They're very, very physical, very big at, at, at the net. Um, they can run a lot of interchangeable parts, you know, attack from, from antenna to antenna and uh, with some size and with some heat. Um, uh, so it, it's uh, it, it, coming out of the gates. It'll be, uh, you know, I know we're fired up to play both those guys, but they're two teams that are very talented, very, very skilled, very well coached. 